All right, so today we're talking about the composition of functions, function composition. All right, composition of functions, which is denoted by G, L, and F G. All right. So let's take a look at example one. It says G of T equals T squared, F of T equals T minus two, find G of L uh, a four. So basically what it's telling us where it says find g of l is we need to uh, use g as the base equation. So if g is the base equation, that means that l needs to be plugged inside of g. All right? So basically we're going to take this to there. So that leaves T minus two squared. All right? So if we have T minus two squared, we can go ahead and say plug four in, four minus two squared, four minus two, it's two squared, two squared, four. All right, we have example two. H of x equal negative x minus two. G of x equal x cubed minus one. It says find h of g of negative one. In this one, h is our base. Remember. First letter is always the base. Second letter is what we plug in, All right? So H of X, that means that the G of X is going right there. So we have negative parentheses, X cubed minus one, close parentheses, minus two. Okay, now it's understood to be a negative one right here. All right, so we can go ahead and change the signs or distribute negative one x cubed plus one minus two. Now from this point, we plug in negative one right here. All right, so negative one times negative one cubed plus one minus two. Negative one cubed means we multiply negative one three times. Negative one times negative one plus one minus two. Negative one times negative one is positive one plus one minus two gives us zero. Example three, g of x equal x plus two, f of x equal x squared plus three minus two x, find g of l of 10. Our base equation, I mean our base expression, x plus two. All right, so we know that this is the base and this has to go right here. All right, so x squared plus 3 minus 2x plus 2. All right, let's take a look at like terms. We have plus 3 plus 2 
x squared minus 2x plus 5. All right, so now we take the 10. All right, we're going to take the 10. We're going to take the 10. We're going to plug it in when we see x. So 10 squared minus 2 times 10 plus 5. All right, 10 squared is 100. Negative two times 10 is negative 20 plus five. All right, I know we have addition and subtraction, but remember we're working from right to left. So when we're dealing with addition and subtraction, we work from uh, left to right according to which one comes first. All right, so 100 minus 20 comes first. That'll give us 80. Plus 5, 85. All right, let's take a look at example 4. We have g of x equal 2x minus 1, h of x equal x cubed plus 4x squared. It says find g of h negative 4x. All right, it's a little bit more complex problem. So we know that the first letter is always the base. It's the base G. So 2X, I'm gonna leave a parenthesis. So for what we want to go inside of that, and then bring down the minus one. So what we want right here is H. All right, X cubed plus four X squared. All right, so now we have a number on the outside of parentheses, which means that we distribute. So two times x cubed is two x cubed. Two times four x squared is eight x squared. Bring down the minus one. All right, so now that we have this expression, we still have negative four X that we have to plug in the final expression. So two times negative four X cubed plus eight times negative four X squared minus one. Now keep in mind the cube goes to every term every term in the parentheses. So that would be negative four cubed, which is negative sixty-four x cubed. Right here would be negative four squared, which is sixteen x squared minus one. Next, we multiply. Two times negative 20, negative 64. It's negative 128 x cubed. Eight times 16 is 128 x squared minus one. We can't combine these two because they're not like terms. They have different exponents. All right, let's take a look at example five. G of x equal negative x squared minus three and h of x equals two x minus three. Find g h of five so this is the deal what we're going to do is we know that g is the base so we're going to take negative x as being negative one all right parentheses squared minus three which goes right here Two 
2x minus 3. All right? So the first thing we need to do with this one is we have 2x minus 3 squared, which is a squared binomial. So that's basically uh, doing the form method. All right? So if we multiply 2x minus 3 times 2x minus 3 minus 3, that would give us 4x squared minus 12x minus 3 minus 9. 3. All right? So now we distribute. We have negative 4x squared. 12x minus 9 minus 3. We substitute. From here we substitute. We have negative 4 times 5 squared plus 12 times 5 minus 9 minus 3. I'm going to come over here with you. Alright, so negative 4 times 25 plus 60 minus 12. Negative 4 times 25 gives us a negative 100 plus 60 minus 12. Negative 100 plus 60 is negative 40. Negative 40 minus 12 negative 52. Example six, f of n equals n squared plus two g of n equals 2n minus 4, find f of g of negative 1. Once again, f of n is our base. So, n squared plus 2, all right? 2n minus 4 goes inside of that. 2n minus 4 squared plus 2. 2n minus 4 squared it's basically multiplying 2n minus 4 times 2n minus 4. All right, when we're multiplying two binomials, we know that we use the FOIL method, first, outer, inner, last. All right, so that's what we're doing right here. First would be 4n squared. Outer would be minus 8n. The inner terms would be minus 8n, and the last terms would be plus 16, all right? Now these two are alike, so we combine those two. So we have 4n squared minus 16n plus 16 plus 2. These two are also like terms, 4n squared minus 16n plus 18. All right, so now that we have our trinomial down here, trinomial expression, I'm gonna use negative one, I'm gonna sub. So four times negative one squared minus 16 times negative one plus 18. Negative 1 squared is 1. Negative 16 times negative 1 is 16 plus 18. 4 plus 16 plus 18. 4 plus 16 is 20. 20 plus 18, 38. 